The Tonewood amp has two programmable notch filters. Although the filters can be used creatively, their primary function is to eliminate problematic frequencies that cause feedback. For the same reasons that some acoustic guitars feed back when plugging into an amp, some guitars might encounter feedback while plugging into a Tonewood amp. A notch filter is a tool designed to isolate such frequencies and cut them. Eliminating these frequencies means that you can turn up the Tonewood amp more in volume and avoid feedback issues. The result is an overall better sound. The Tonewood amp offers two notch filters, notch low and notch high. The low notch filter spans from 100 hertz to 1100 hertz. The high notch filter spans from 200 hertz to 2000 hertz. Note that the notch filters do not affect the signal that comes out of the output jack of the Tonewood amp. To enter the notch filter menu, hold the amplitude knob for two seconds until filters appears on the display. Turn the amplitude knob clockwise to select between notch low and notch high. There's also an escape command in this menu if you wish to exit. Once you select notch low or notch high, each knob on the Tonewood amp takes on a new role in controlling the selected notch filter's functions. The effects knob becomes a cut function which when turned to the right, will decrease the volume of the selected frequency. You can select a cut value of 0 to 20, 20 being the largest decrease of volume of the selected frequency. The parameters knob becomes the frequency selector. Click this knob and you can scan through the frequency spectrum and choose which frequency the effects knob will be cutting. Note, while turning the parameters knob and scanning through the frequencies, by default, the values will change in increments of 40 Hz. If you click the parameters knob again, the values will now change in increments of 4 Hz, making it easy to hone in on problem frequencies very accurately. Finally, while in the Notch Filters menu, the Amplitude knob will control the volume of the selected effect. This will be a useful control while identifying problematic frequencies. To take advantage of the notch filters on the Tonewood amp and do away with problematic frequencies, follow these steps and use what's known as the search and destroy method. If you're having a problem with feedback, go into the notch filters menu by holding the amplitude knob for two seconds. Start by selecting notch low. Notch high is already set to a recommended factory setting. Only adjust this notch filter if you have multiple problematic frequencies. Now slowly turn the amplitude knob, adjusting the effects volume until you hear a moderate amount of feedback. Although rather annoying, let this feedback continue. Now, turn the effects knob all the way to the right until the value reaches 20. Next, start turning the parameters knob slowly, scanning through the frequency spectrum. Once the feedback starts to dissipate, you'll know that you're in the area where the problem frequency resides. Now click the parameters knob to toggle the fine tuning function and turn it to accurately pinpoint the problematic frequency. Once the frequency diminishes greatly and you feel that you have accurately selected the problematic frequency, start slowly turning the effects knob counterclockwise to reduce the amount of cut. Once you start to hear the feedback fading in, turn the effects knob clockwise a few notches so that it goes away. Finally, click the amplitude knob to save your changes. The idea here is that you are cutting the problematic frequency to the point where it will not cause feedback, but you're not turning it down to the point of drastically affecting the tonal balance of the Tonewood amp. If you sense that there are multiple problematic frequencies, Go back into the notch filters and select notch high. Perform the search and destroy method again to identify and tame another problematic frequency. Once these frequencies have been tamed, you'll be able to turn up the volume of the Tonewood amp much louder before encountering any feedback. It may take some practice to successfully identify and control problematic frequencies, but once you get the hang of it, your Tonewood amp will be sounding excellent. As an added bonus, you'll now be familiar with the search and destroy method.
a very useful practice in many audio situations.